Hello, my name is Steve Humble with Creative Home Engineering and I want to show you a very special vault door that we're making for a customer that's right behind me. And this vault door is special for three reasons. I want to explain to you what they are. So the first thing about this vault door you'll notice is that there's no banker style spindle on the front of it. There's no access control method on the front of it. And that's because this will be part of a camouflage system that involves a wainscot type paneling. So this vault door can come just like it is and you as the customer can put any type of paneling on the face of it that's going to make it blend in with your house. Uh, when I open this secret door, I'm going to push the magic button and you'll see that it opens up and so your, your paneling would go here or it could be even like a, a cultured stone or veneer of some kind. Anything you want can go on the face and the camouflage won't be messed up by some big handle. So that's the first thing that's special about it. But the second and third things that are special about it, I want to show you on the back side of the door. All right, here we are on the back side of this vault door. The second thing that makes this vault door really special is the adjustability of the hinges. So these hinges that you see here are actually six axis adjustability hinges. That means that you can make infinite adjustments to move this vault door up or down, left or right, forward or back. You can tilt it in this direction or you can tilt it in this direction. And you can even, by adjusting this nut right here, you can actually induce a warp into the door on purpose. That kind of adjustability is critical whenever you have a camouflaged door because the reveals on the front of the door have to be just perfect in order for the camouflage to be compelling. So you might find that to get it just right, you have to make those little tiny adjustments or what happens even more frequently is the door looks great on the day that it's installed, but the next year or three or four years down the road, the foundation kind of moves, things settle, wood expands or contracts with temperature and humidity. And so having that adjustability is priceless. It enables you to, in, in just a few seconds, make those reveals on the front be absolutely perfect. If you did not have that adjustability, then you would have to either get the carpenter back or whoever laid your bricks and try to take those off, or you'd have to dehang this whole heavy, you know, 900 pound vault door and try to move it a 16th of an inch over and you'd find that the lag bolts found their original holes. It would be very hard to adjust in, in those minute increments. And normal vault doors don't have that kind of adjustability. So that adjustability is the second thing that makes a vault door like this really, really special. The third thing can really only be seen when I open the vault door and you see the edge. So you'll notice the edge of this vault door does not look like most vault doors you may have seen. Most vault doors have pins that come out of the edge of the door. And those are called cantilevered locking pins. And cantilevered means that they're unsupported out here in space. And so they go either behind the frame or into receptacles in the frame of the vault door. And those kind of locking pins are easy to make and they're inexpensive to make. And so that's the reason really why they're very common and people have been doing that for a long time. But they are vulnerable. They're vulnerable to pry attacks. So if you go on to YouTube or do any kind of research, you'll find videos of people that breach vault doors with cantilever locking pins using a simple tool like this, just a, a pry bar. They will insert the pry bar into the joint between the door and the frame and they'll just pry it and they'll work the pry bar all the way around the perimeter and it's alarming how quickly they can pry the frame away from the edge of the vault door and they can breach a door like that. So when we started making custom vault doors, we wanted to make vault doors that could not be breached in the most common way that vault doors are breached. And so instead of using cantilever locking pins, we have something called double shear locking pins. So you see that instead of having these pins that come out of the edge, we have slots. And over here on the door frame, you can see we have tabs and the tabs go into slots. And each one of these tabs has a hole in it that's oriented horizontally like this. So I'm going to come around to this side so you can see. So when the vault door closes, the tab comes into here just like that. And the tab, remember, has a hole. And then you can see when I release this handle, the pin moves vertically inside of here. So that's nice because this pin is protected by this bulletproof armor plate on the front. It's very hard to damage or breach in any way. And 
This pin, the reason it's called double shear is because this one inch diameter hardened locking pin would have to be sheared in two separate places in order for it to give way. And you can see we have all these other pins all the way around the dorsal perimeter on both sides. So you can imagine that a vault door like this is really, I dare say, impossible to, to breach, at least using a pry bar. Very, very difficult to open and far, far more difficult to open than any vault door that has cantilevered locking pins. So hopefully that has shed some light on why it is that vault doors from Creative Home Engineering are so special and what we can do to help you add camouflage and security for your project. Please visit us at hiddenpassageway.com or give us a call. We would love to speak with you.